Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1544, and you know, this should be a happy day. This should be a day where we're celebrating the release of Solo, a Star Wars story on disc. Yeah, people still buy discs, it's true. It's not just streaming services and all, but... The fact of the matter is, is that yesterday's episode was recorded prior to us finding out the news about Gary Kurtz, and so we are putting the Solo A Star Wars story stuff on the back burner today to take a moment to remember the life and contributions to the Star Wars galaxy of Gary Kurtz. Now, some folks in the world of Star Wars fandom, in fact, multiple generations of Star Wars fans, might not immediately be able to associate the name Gary Kurtz with Star Wars. You know, people who are behind the camera are definitely not the ones best remembered for their contributions to the galaxy far, far away. And yet, if you're not familiar with Gary Kurtz's vital role in the creation of Star Wars, then by all means, this is the time to bring it to your attention. And if you do know the name, then it's time to look back and celebrate it. So Gary Kurtz, first of all, passed away on Sunday the 23rd at the age of 78 after a year-long bout with cancer. And his family released a statement saying, Gary was a beloved husband, father, grandfather, friend, colleague, and mentor whose work and talent spanned filmmaking, photography, music, and cinema history. He was a Marine, a world traveler, an outdoorsman, and a kind, compassionate human being. Gary was a magnificent man who will be hugely missed. His whole family thanks you for your loving thoughts. And here's the official statement from Lucasfilm. Gary Kurtz, the legendary producer of Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, died on Sunday, September 23rd. He was 78. A key figure in the history of Star Wars and Lucasfilm, Kurtz's gifts for storytelling can be felt in all his work. Kurtz first worked with George Lucas as a producer on the coming-of-age comedy American Graffiti in 1973, which became a massive surprise hit. It would receive several Academy Award nominations, including one for Kurtz and co-producer Francis Ford Coppola for Best Picture. Following the success of American Graffiti, Kurtz joined Lucas as a producer on his next film, Star Wars. With a budget of $11 million, Star Wars went on to become the highest grossing film ever at the time of its release, garnering 10 Academy Award nominations, including one for Kurtz for Best Picture and winning six of them. He returned to produce the sequel to Star Wars, of course, The Empire Strikes Back, a decidedly bigger and more challenging film than its predecessor. Today, both Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back are widely regarded as among the best motion pictures of all time. After Star Wars, Kurtz produced The Dark Crystal and Return to Oz, films that have become cult classics. A man of immense talent and intelligence, Kurtz will be missed greatly by Lucasfilm and will remember his many contributions to Star Wars in film. Of course, the, the story is a lot more complicated than that and a lot more detailed. According to Variety's write-up, Kurtz had championed Star Wars through multiple drafts and helped Lucas navigate 20th Century Fox's lack of enthusiasm for a movie they dismissed as a B-picture. After Star Wars stunned everyone by turning into a massive hit, Lucas and Kurtz sat about crafting a sequel. Lucas handed the reins over to director Irving Kirshner, but production went over schedule and Lucas was forced to dip into his own pocket to complete the movie. Kurtz stepped in to direct second unit work on the film. And Kurtz also did second unit directing work on the original Star Wars as well, in fact, directing some of the dogfight scenes in the final climactic moments of the movie The Battle Over the Death Star. And I think it would be fair to say that those four movies in particular, American Graffiti, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and The Dark Crystal, those will be considered amongst his defining moments in cinema. However, he had worked in Hollywood for many years prior to his association with Lucasfilm, in fact, working on films that involved Jack Nicholson and Dennis Hopper and Basil Rathbone among luminaries, and he continued to work in Hollywood producing movies for a number of years after his association with Lucasfilm ended. As far as social media tributes and all that, well, of course, they're pouring in naturally. And if you were to search the hashtag RIP Gary Kurtz, you would definitely find a wealth of them and also some very beautiful stories as well. Mark Hamill tweeted, I've lost a lifelong friend. The world has lost a kind, wise, multi-talented artist and filmmaker whose contributions to cinema cannot be overstated. It was an honor to have worked with him, and I know I am a better man just for having known him. And Peter Mayhew said, 
a great filmmaker and man has just passed. Without him, there would have been no force. You will be remembered in the incredible films you made that touched the lives of millions. So I think a lot of us go through our lives getting to enjoy movies on screen and in our homes and don't really realize what it is exactly a producer does. I mean, we know that they, you know, produce a movie, which means that, you know, somehow the movie's birth and creation and appearance on our screens has to do with their acumen, but we don't necessarily know what it is they do. So what film producers do is handle logistics and the business of making a movie. They actually arrange financing for a movie to make sure that a production has the money to hire the people that need to be hired to create the special effects and to make the costumes and the sets and all of the things that go into making a motion picture possible. It is basically the business of creating magic. And it is a creative endeavor in its own way. And in fact, producers often get to have some sort of creative say in the making of a movie as well. Yes, certainly the director and the screenwriter and the actors, they all have their very creative contributions to things, but Producers are definitely not to be dismissed when it comes to that whole situation. And you can even make a case for saying that producers help with the concept of what's sometimes called creative limitation, the idea that, you know, you don't just throw a giant pile of money at a director and say, here's your giant pile of money, you can do anything you want with it. No, in fact, it's, hey, we only have so much money, so we have to be creative and coming up with solutions. And sometimes the creativity that results from being restricted by your financial means ends up being just the thing that the doctor ordered to have an additional spark in the idea, in the story that you want to tell that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And, you know, I think it's fair to say that Gary Kurtz falls within that realm. I mean, especially with The Empire Strikes Back, that was going over budget and needed to be reined in as much as possible. And as we mentioned earlier, he didn't just sit back in his office, you know, doing spreadsheets or whatever. He was actually, you know, a working filmmaker in his own right and chipped in his own time and efforts into the project so that it could be done, you know, as close to on time as possible, as close to budget as possible, even when budgets were ballooning out of control. And while I dare say that it's really difficult to throw around the phrase, you know, without so-and-so, Star Wars wouldn't be what it was, or The Empire Strikes Back wouldn't be what it was. I mean, everybody's contributions to both of those movies are extremely valuable, and there are certainly elements of those two movies where, you know, without the contributions of every single person involved, it wouldn't be the movie that it was. But I think there's probably a handful of people on this earth that we could point to and say, well, without him or without her, Star Wars would not have become the cultural phenomenon that it became. And I think Gary Kurtz is one of those select few people. So this is our moment to pause and to say thank you very much to Gary Kurtz for his massively important contributions to the galaxy far, far away, to the life and times of George Lucas and the work that he bestowed upon the world. And there's a German philosopher by the name of Meister Eckhart who was operating back in the late 1200s, early 1300s. And, you know, you can only trust the internet so far, but he is supposed to have said something on the order of, if the only prayer you ever said was thank you, then that would be enough. And so I hope you will take a moment at the end of listening to this show and whisper a quiet thank you to whoever might be listening that you're grateful for the presence of Gary Kurtz in your life, whether you understood or not how valuable his contribution truly was. Gary Kurtz, the legendary producer of American Graffiti, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, The Dark Crystal, and many other films, passed away at 78 years old after a year-long bout with cancer on Sunday the 23rd. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be.